Hello, I'm Granny Ricky and you're in time for story time. Before we start reading today's book, please remember to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications whenever there's a new story. The story we're reading today is called You're a Hen. It's written by Jacques Frins and Henk Knipkins. You're a Hen. And what do we see here? A truck drumbling along the road, packed full of chickens. Look at that. And what can you see? I see one chicken either falling off or flying out of that truck. Oh dear, what is going to happen to that hen? Tim is out on his bike when he sees something white by the roadside. Hey, he says, there's a dead hen. He strokes her soft little head gently. Suddenly, the hen opens her eyes and says, Burp! Oh, so you're still alive, laughs Tim, but only just. Don't worry, hen, he whispers. I'll take you home to our hen house to get better. He lifts her carefully onto his bike. The hen does nothing until he rides over a bump in the road. Then she says, Burp! Look there, there's the hen on the back of Tim's bike. He's taking her home. And so far all the hen has said is, Burp! Tim proudly carries the hen into his house. I've saved a hen, he calls out. The family gathers around. Mm, it's a bit of an excuse for a hen, says mum. It's practically dead, says dad. Get it in the pan for dinner, says big brother. No, shouts Tim. She's my hen. Burp, says the hen. Big brother laughs. You can't call that a hen. It doesn't even know it's a hen anymore. We're having chicken for tea tonight. But Tim runs away as fast as he can with his hen. Tim puts his hen down, looks her in the eye and explains gently. You're a hen. Burp, says the chicken. You're a hen, says Tim. Burp, says the hen. Oh, look there. Tim's not getting anywhere, is he? He's trying so hard to explain to the hen, You're a hen. And all the chicken can say is, Burp. You're not ending up as dinner, says Tim. I'm taking you to the vet. There's the hen on the vet's examination table. And the vet has got his stethoscopes in his ears, listening to the hen's heart. Can she walk? Says the vet. No. Can she fly? No. Can she at least cluck? Burp, says the hen. The vet slowly shakes his head. I'm sorry, she was a nice hen once, but there's nothing else I can do. Oh dear, even the vet has got no hope for this hen. Right, this is a hen house, explains Tim, because remember, you're a hen. The hens in the hen house come over to have a look. Burp, says Tim's hen. The other hens don't like it. They start to cluck and peck at Tim 
and his hen. Go away, you stupid birds, shouts Tim, flapping his arms. But they just cluck and peck harder. Tim stands up and picks up his hen. Come on, you, we're leaving, he mutters, and storms off. Look there at Tim sitting in the hen house with his hen on his lap and the other hens just cluck and peck at, hen, at, at the hen and at Tim. And of course the hen just says burp. Somehow you'll have to become a normal hen again, says Tim. Otherwise, you'll end up in the frying pan or be clucked and pecked out of the hen house. I'll just have to give you hen lessons. Now, pay attention. This is where your egg comes out. See, he pokes his finger under her tail feathers. Come on, it's easy. Just go cluck, 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 and concentrate on making an egg. It'll all come back to you if you try. Tim waits. The hen eyes him beadily. Burp, says the hen. Tim's trying to get the hen to lay an egg. That's not happening. Right, here comes lesson number two. This is important. It's the cluck lesson. Listen and repeat after me. Cluck, 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 cluck. Burp, 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 says the hen. <laughs> That's really not what a hen should be saying, is it? Hen, you have to try harder. Don't you get it? You're a hen. You're a hen, bellows Tim. The hen says nothing, not even burp. Okay, lesson three, sighs Tim. This is your flying lesson. Surely this will bring it all back. How is Tim going to teach this hen to fly? Let's have a look. <gasps> he ties a contraption of wings to the bird trying to get him to fly, get her to fly. But that sure ain't working, because there you see she crashed and fell into the bushes. Poor old hen. Poor old Tim. Anything he tries is not working. Tim flaps his arms to show the hen how to fly. Nothing happens. You might be a hen, but you're not much of a hen, Tim admits finally. Hang on, he says. Do you even want to be a hen? Burp, says the hen. Because maybe you could be a duck or a parrot instead. Burp. Okay, a duck then, says Tim. I'll help you be a duck. You just need Duck lessons. Lesson one is the swimming lesson. Pay attention, duck. Okay, so now Tim is going to try and teach this hen how to be a duck. And for the swimming lessons, <laughs> look at that. He tied some big flat paddles to the hen's feet to try and look like duck's feet hoping that it could swim. But of course, this hen can't swim. It ended up floating on its back in the water. That was a failed lesson, don't you reckon? But however much Tim splashes about in a puddle, the duck won't swim. OK, you're not a duck either. So let's try you as a parrot, says Tim painting the hen with beautiful colors. Can you see that? Tim is painting the hen to try and make it look like a parrot. Look at all those beautiful colors.
Now you're a beautiful parrot with all the colours of the rainbow on your feathers. The hen struts about looking very fine. But then it begins to rain. Oh no, you useless hen, gasps Tim. Look at all your colours running in the rain. Now you're just an ordinary hen again. Look at the colours. The rain is washing it all down back into the puddle. Poor old Tim. He's not getting anywhere with this hen, is he? I'm just about out of ideas, says Size Tim. I don't know what sort of bird you are. You can't lay eggs or cluck or fly. You can't swim and you can't keep your bright colours. You don't seem to be able to do anything. He kicks the ground. But I won't let them eat you. I'll find you a place to hide. Come on. Oh, look at Tim. He's very despondent here. He's got his head in his hand. Doesn't know what to do. But he does know he's going to try and hide the hen. Suddenly... There is a sound from behind the bushes. Cock a doodle doo! And again, cock a doodle doo! The hen lifts her head, blinks, and says, Clock! What did you say, hen? gasps Tim. Clock! Woohoo! You are a hen! shouts Tim, jumping up and down. Clock, says the hen. Clock, 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 clock. Suddenly, the hen knows how to be a hen. It's clucking. Tim and the two birds walk happily to the hen house. You are a hen. I knew you were, sings Tim. Cock a doodle doo, crows the cockerel. Clock, 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 clock the hen. You just needed to be with your old friend the cockerel, didn't you? says Tim. Now everything will be right, all right. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cluck, 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 agree the cockerel and the hen together. There's the cockerel saying cock-a-doodle-doo and the hen saying cluck, 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 cluck. And there they are, happily together in the hen house. The cockerel and the hen snuggled up together. The hen is finally happy to be a hen. And I think they lived happily ever after. Yep, there's the hen. She's managed to lay some eggs and now she's sitting on them waiting to hatch them out and once they're hatched there are all the little chicks. Isn't that a beautiful sight? The cockerel, the hen, and all their baby chicks. And of course, Tim is very, very happy that his hen finally remembered how to be a hen. <laughs> You're a hen, and sure enough, the hen was a hen. That was a good story. I hope you enjoyed it too. Please remember subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And I will be seeing you very soon with a brand new story. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye everybody. Bye bye Serena. Mwah.